Hello and welcome to Grand WP Form Builder plugin tutorial video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create awesome forms on your WordPress website. So, let's get started. At first, go to your plugins page. Press on Add New button on the top. And type Grand WP on the search field. Here are my sweeties. Click Install Now button on the Form Builder plugin and wait a few seconds. Finally, activate it. As you can see, Grand WP Form Builder plugin appeared on the left sidebar. Let's see what we've got. The first page we came is the Forms List page. But as you can see, there is no form yet. You can add one by clicking on the right top button, or by the link on the empty list. The first step while adding a new form is templates. These are ready-to-go templates of most needed forms. Clicking on the next button on each form will automatically create the fields and give appropriate options. For example, I will create an event planner form. In Pro version of the plugin, you would be taken to the next step of choosing the theme of the form. But themes are not provided in the free version, sorry. So now, we are in our form managing page. At the center of the page, you can see the automatically created fields. Form name on the top right side. Some options on the left side, and add new field button, with the big plus icon. Let's start with adding. Here are all 18 fields provided. Let's quickly go through each of them. First three are the standard, text, email, and number fields. Then comes the standard text array of field. Date field will appear on the front end as a beautiful date picker. Two different captures are provided in the plugin. Google reCAPTCHA, and the custom CAPTCHA created by our team. The plugin also provides a HTML field for custom content. Another field is especially for phone numbers. And of course, what form builder without upload field with awesome options. The last field that has no limitations in the free version is submit button. As you can see there are some fields that have pro sign on them. These are the advanced fields that are disabled in the free version. The pro fields are Google Map Image Select that works like checkbox or radio box, but with custom images instead of the standard bullets. Password Field that allows you to create a login or sign up forms. Address Field comes with all necessary field in it, for getting full shipping information. And the last one in Pros is Donation Field. As you probably know the Pro version has integrated PayPal feature. So, this field allows you to charge your users with a custom amount. There are three more fields left that we missed. These are the standard checkbox, radio box and select box fields. These fields are, of course, available in free version, but they also have payment functionality that is only a pro version feature. That's all, so now, let's add a new select box to our form. Click on the Field button and a new line will appear on your form. New fields appear on the end of the form, but you are able to change their position by drag and drop functionality. The first icon on each field is for copy. Click on it will duplicate the field. Delete icon, and, of course, settings. Click on settings icon, and the right sidebar will transform to settings block for the appropriate field. So for the select box field, we have the following options. The first is label. Second is label position with five available options. Then comes element class and container class options. You are able to give a custom class to a field, as well as its parent element, for additional CSS styles or JS code. Use help option to give more information to your users. 
Required option determines whether it is required for users to fill the field or not. These were common options almost for all fields. And now let's see how to add options in select box list. So, here we have Import Options button, that allow us to copy-paste multiple options together. And, Add Option button, for one by one adding. I'll use this one. So, when you click on the button it gives you two fields. Option Name, that will appear on the list, and Option Value, that will be submitted with form data. Let's suppose this is the Guest Number field and add options for that field. So, for the first option I write for example 1 to 5 guests. Add another option. And this one already 5 to 20. Let's add two more. And of course, give them values. I'll give them only the maximum number of guests. OK. And the last option on select box field is search. Despite standard select box fields, our select box has integrated search functionality, and it filters the options from a drop-down list that doesn't match with the search word. The payment field is only for pro version users, so I'll skip it. So we are done with select box, check out other fields by yourself, I'm sure you're gonna find awesome features and solutions that you will like. As we saw how to create and edit the fields, we are ready to publish our form and see the result. But before publishing it let's go deep in settings, and see what solutions we have there. So, here on top menu, you can find form settings button, these settings are unique for each form. Save the form, and click on the button. The first setting is Save Submission to Database. Turn it on or off to save all submissions data on your website, or not. Next setting is Email to Users. This determines whether the user, after his submission will get a message from the website, or not. Click on Settings icon to edit the settings of the message. The subject of the message, sender's email, and content of the message can be set from here. Same settings are available for admin, so when a user submits the form, admin can get the content on the given email. From display settings you are able to show or hide form title, and change global positioning of labels. Pro version users, in this section, will find the setting for choosing a theme of the form. Actions on form submit, is the next setting on the line. The plugin offers three available scenarios after user submits the form. Form notices are the error messages, that plugin shows in appropriate situations. And the last payment settings are for pro version users. I don't want to take any more of your time, so let's finally publish our form, and see the result. So I'm going to copy the shortcut and paste it in new page. Oh, forgot to save the form. Let's give a title to my page. You can use shortcode button on page editor, but as I have already copied it, let's just paste it. Publish the page. And let's check the form. Here it is, so the event planner form is ready to go. Look how elegant our guest number field appeared, and of course the options we set. All other fields, as you remember, came from the template, so, check out other templates as well, as they may contain exact form you need. So now, if users submit the form, I'll get all this content on my inbox. Or, if you are a pro version user, all the data will be available on your submissions page. This was the very brief information about the plugin. There are a lot of awesome things you will find during the work with it. 
Check out our demos to see what problems you can solve with our plugin. Use help documentation to find answers to your questions, or if you don't want to search the answers feel free to ask questions on our support forum. Our team will respond to your question during a few hours. Hope the video was helpful for you. Have a productive day. Good luck!